Hey, what's going on guys? Dr. Sexy I'm here and I'm going to be talking about a topic that is something that we all should be thinking about. We should have already figured it out, but you know, if this gives you something to think about, excellent. That's the point. Alright, so the question I'm asking today is what's your sexuality? Now, I decided to focus on this question because if you saw the blog that I did about 10 things that you should ask your prospective partner, you'd realize that this was one of them. But based on the response from that, uh, you know, a person didn't see why was it necessary for to ask the question what's your sexuality or, so, so, or even to ask yourself what's your sexuality. So I think that this is important. So we're going to talk about that right now. Right. Okay. So the first thing that I want to highlight is the fact that sexuality is something that is not fixed. It is something that is not black and white. It is something like with a lot of other things in human behavior. It is variable based on individual experiences, your socialization, your preferences, and those kind of things shape who you are sexually. Now, as it relates to sexuality, people usually think gay or straight, or they may say gay, straight, or bi, but there are a lot of other things in between. So, we're going to talk about some of those things right now. And the first thing I want to address is asexuality. Now, persons think, what's asexuality? Well, asexual is a person who is not interested in sexual contact, sexual intercourse. It's something that they don't desire. And it's very different from somebody who's been celibate. And it's different from somebody who has a low libido. This is somebody who is simply not interested in the whole sexualness of it all. They don't want to have sexual intercourse. Also, asexuals are fine with displays of affection like hugging or maybe even light kissing. But they don't want to get into the spit swapping and the, the, the bodily fluid mixing up and all those kind of things. So they're really not interested in getting sexual. Example of somebody who's asexual, Sheldon Cooper from Big Bang Theory. Dr. Sheldon Cooper is an asexual, so he's not really, you know, he, 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 he won't, he'll be fine if he never has sex. He doesn't think he's missing anything, he doesn't, he, he's not interested in it at all. So that is really what it is. So somebody who might, like, might decide that, okay, I'm going to try to be celibate or I'm going to be celibate still has sexual desires. They just decide not to act on it. So I wonder if you're still it. Okay, so that's asexuals. Now we get to the... Heterosexuals, let me get off, get that off the table right away. Heterosexual is sexual interest, sexual contact between a man and a woman. Now, it is the, 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 the sexuality that's considered the right sexuality, the natural sexuality, because you really do need these two parties in order to procreate. And so, for the persons who believe that sex is just for procreation, they say it's heterosexuality all the way. Because that's the only reason you should be having sex anyway, right? Just to have some babies. So, that's heterosexuality. Now, most religions see heterosexuality as the way to go. And they look at other sexualities as something that is not right, it's immoral. You know, if you're a Christian, you think that if you are anything but heterosexual, all kind of horrible things are going to happen to you when you meet God or, you know, whatever your beliefs are. But that is heterosexuality. Sexual interest, desire, contact between man and woman. Now we get to bisexuality. Now bisexuality is, 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 is speaking of um, when an individual is attracted to both male and female. So what that means is that person can be sexually interested in both sexes. Now it doesn't mean that just because they have a long-term relationship with, a, with a, somebody of the opposite sex, that they're heterosexual or because they have a long-term relationship with somebody of the same sex that they're homosexual it just means that at that time that is the relationship that they're in it doesn't mean that if it is that they decide to to get sexual with somebody of a different gender that it wouldn't happen because they still have the desire but a lot of bisexuals get 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 swept into heterosexuality because they end up in these kind of long-term relationships with um, somebody of the opposite gender, so everybody has assumed that they're heterosexuals. That happens with bisexuality, which is why there's a little debate going on about the relevance or the real meaning or the existence then of bisexuals. All right, moving on. We get to homosexuality. Now, this is possibly the most controversial of the sexualities because homosexuality is when you have sexual interests, desire, feelings, 
and actual sex towards somebody of the same sex. You have male homosexuals and you have female homosexuals who are also called lesbians. Now, for some reasons, female homosexuality is more accepted, is more um, tolerated than male homosexuality. I guess that has to do something with the fact that women are naturally um, closer. The way girls are socialized, you know, girls are allowed to hold hands and be more, more touchy-feely and hug more and those kind of things. That would seem very strange for, for boys because boys are not supposed to kiss and be soft and cuddly with each other. So when you actually see two men doing it, it's, it's, it looks weird. So um, that's why that's one of the reasons why female homosexuality is more accepted than male homosexuality. But um, in recent times, there's been a lot of talk around homosexuals because they have been the LBGT community has been really, really, you know, advocating to make sure that they have the same rights and privileges of heterosexual couples. So you know, gay marriage is a big thing right now, politically, internationally, locally, all around the world. Gay marriage is the flavor of the month. Anybody who wants to make a political statement talk about gay marriage or abortion. But I don't know why, but it's what it is. Um, and homosexuality is also one of those things that get religious people very riled up. I don't care what the religion. I don't know of a religion that says this homosexuality is good with the God of this religion because most Muslim, Christian, we, we can go on and on, they are not very happy with homosexuality. But it is a form of sexuality and it is one of them that causes a lot of controversy. Now we get to pansexuality. Now pansexuals are individuals who the gender of the, of the person that they are sexually interested in or they have a sexual desire for is not the most important thing. So for example, they like something else about the person and if they happen to be male, they're fine. And if they happen to be female, they're fine too. And if they happen to be transgender, that's okay. And if they happen to not have any sex organ, that's good too because it's something else about the person that gets them going. So it's not about the penis or the vagina for a pansexual. It's, it's they tell you about their personality or they tell you about something, the way they smile or you know how they are with people or whatever it is. Whatever it is that attracts them, but for a pansexual, it is not about the sex of the person. It's not about the gender of the person. So if you're a pansexual, this term is also interchanged with omnisexual. So if you're a pansexual or omnisexual, then you are not looking at if the person has a penis or a vagina. You're not looking at if the person was born male or not. You're not looking at anything like that. You're just looking at the individual and what is about them that makes you um, desire them. And then their, their, their gender or their... their their sex is a non-issue, right? Um, transgender, transsexuals now are persons who have the, well, they identify mentally as one gender, but physically they are born as another gender. So for example, you will have a, a little boy who is who's biologically a boy who mentally identifies as a girl. And so usually what happens is by the time they get to puberty and the, 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 the characteristics start to show and all of that, they normally take hormones to, to, to um, you know, get rid of the characteristics that are supposed to come up and give them the characteristics of the gender that they identify with. So for example, little boy who identifies as a girl will start taking estrogen that will allow them to grow breasts and, and you know to be softer and not you know not to grow facial hair and you know to lose the deep voice and all of that so they can be a woman because they identify as female even though they are biologically male so that's transsexual now I, I found the need to make the distinction because I think that you know persons are are very very closed as it relates to how people identify themselves sexually. Now, in your mind, you might only think that it's, it's okay to be straight, and that's fine. However, even though you think that, it doesn't mean that the other sexualities don't exist. So whether you like it or not, whether it's against your religion or not, pansexuals exist, homosexuals exist, bisexuals exist, and it means me. So the person was, was um, born female, transitioned to a male, and then have a relationship with a biological male. So now there's two men. That's a homosexual relationship, you know. But if you look at the transition part of it, then that kind of shakes up the definition a little bit. 
I'm just saying that to say that there's a lot of shades of gray there that it is not as clear cut as we think it is. Sexuality is not as clear cut as we think it is. It's not black or white, it's not gay or straight, it's not gay, straight or bi. It's a whole heap of other scenarios in the middle. I didn't talk about a lot of the other things in the middle because it gets a lot more technical and you know, this is just the basic um, you know, round definitions. If you want to know more, I can definitely provide that for you. You just send me a question, drsexylife at gmail.com. Check out my blog at drsexyan.com. Follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Facebook at drsexyan. Remember, my, my column comes out in the start every Tuesday, and this was actually the topic of that column. Today, what is your sexuality? In the meantime, guys, thank you very much for your support and definitely follow me, subscribe to my channel, like it, share it, comment on it. Thanks, guys. Take care.